Hello, this is Mike Lyman from Mind When Blowing, and today we're going to show you how to import into SQLite an Excel spreadsheet. So this has to do with the investment strategy game that we're working on in our Flash Builder users group. And Stuart sent me an Excel spreadsheet and said, hey, I don't quite know how to bring this into SQLite. Can you show me? So that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So let's go to the uh, Excel spreadsheet right now. So here's the Excel spreadsheet that uh, Stuart sent me. It's called Investment Data uh, 1969 to 2010. Let's go right click on this. I'm going to use the open source Excel, open office. Let's open it up with that. And what I'm going to want to do is export this into comma separated data and then import this using the uh, SQL Lite Manager that you can find as a plugin in Firefox. So we've already talked about that in the previous video. Make sure you go ahead and check that video out. So I'm going to have two issues here a problem with the primary value and a problem with uh, row number one being a label. So I'm going to show you how to solve both of those. But let's first start off by exporting this to common separated data and importing this. So just go to File. This is really easy to do. And go Save As. And bring this down so you can see it. And we're going to go to the tab bar here and choose uh, a particular data type. And let's use CSV, common separated data. Let's click on that. And we're going to rename this investment data, just something easy. Invest data, that's pretty easy. Click on that, we're going to hit save that. And it already exists, but I'm going to go ahead and save over it again since I've already done this. And then we'll keep the current format. Hit OK, and it's separating everything for you using commas. And then we're going to go to our browser, go to Tools, and bring up the SQLite Manager open that up. Now we've already created this database and there's two ways you can do that. You can create that in PHP like we mentioned last time or you can actually go here and go to database, new database. And the name of the database is SQL Steward Database. And we're going to populate a table right here. So we're going to import that comma separated value that we and we're going to do that by importing that comma separated value data that we just created. So let's go to data, import and uh, let's select the file we're going to import and go ahead and hit open. And we're going to bring this up a little bit so you can see it. And we hit OK. And we're going to start importing that data. Now there's an issue here already and we see we have these columns right here. So if you go ahead and import that, it's not going to quite do what you want it to do. Let's hit OK. We can see it did indeed create a tables investment data for you. We'll go ahead and open that up. And let's go to browse and search and see it's not quite right. I want uh, this column, I want row one actually to be up here, not column one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and fix that. And one way we're going to do is go ahead and drop the particular table we just made. So click on the investments data table, right click and go drop table. And so now it's gone and we're going to import that table again. So let's go back to structure. So we deleted that table because we didn't have the right column names. Now let me show you how to get the right column names in there. So let's go to database, go to import, once again, browse to the uh, investment data file. There's our comma separated value. Bring that in. Hit open. And make sure that you click on first row contains column names. And when you do that, it's going to grab all the names. And it's going to grab the first row of your comma separated data, which is going to be the names, and put those in for your columns, which is great. So if we take a look at the investment data uh, Excel spreadsheet again. You can see that. So you see our problem is that the first row has a column names in it, but SQL Lite knows that, so it has a way actually to convert those names into your database column uh, tag. So let's go and do that real quick. And make sure you just click that simple uh, checkbox, first row contains column names, and let's go ahead and import that file. Hit OK, and it's going to walk you through it. And now you actually see the names in the first row. That's good. But notice you don't really have a primary key. We've got to take care of that next. Let's go and bring that in. Hit OK. It's importing 42 rows for you. And now let's take a look in Browse. And uh, we're going to take a look at the data real quick here as well. Let's click on the data, and there's all the data values. Looks pretty good. But the only problem is you've got this row ID. Now this comes automatic with SQLite. So you automatically get a labeling by number. But the problem is this is not really a primary key. You really need to create a primary key. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's go ahead and drop this table as well. It's no good to us, really. In some instances, you may just have to start your browser up again. So now that we've actually saved that column with an ID, we're going to actually import that. And there's a few things we're going to do in order to get it to auto increment and uh, get it to act as the primary ID. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to Database, Import, 
Go ahead and uh, make sure you select the comma separated value uh, data, and we're going to come along here and select that data. Hit open, and now we're going to go ahead and go. So now we'll go down and we'll hit OK. Also, make sure that you've got that um, first row contains column names selected, so you get that first row there. And that was well bringing the new ID name that you created. Hit OK. Hit OK. And what you want to make sure is you hit yes for primary key, that you hit yes for unique. They like allow you to auto increment, but you want to increment as an integer. So make sure you come here in your selection data type and select integer. And as soon as you do that, you'll start getting the integer values. Now you can also come along here and select these data values as well. So let's do that. And a real. And all the rest of these are real. So you can actually type these in as well. Be a little faster. Now all of these are real because they're decimals, but be very careful about real because what happens is is that if you're actually trying to work with dollars, that this doesn't work because reals will round off and you'll lose your money. So you actually have to work with integers in SQLite and then divide by 100. And once again, just to cover what we did that's so important is we, that ID, we declared as an integer, we declared it as the primary key, and we declared it as unique, and that will actually increment our primary key for us. Let's go ahead and import the data and see that. Hit OK. 42 rows are imported. And now let's take a look at the data. And there you see we've got our primary ID key, and it's incremented 1 through 40, let's see here, 42. And you're all ready now to use this particular database in your Flash or Flex program. So thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively from Mind Wind Blowing, and I'll see you next time.